What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to upload videos to YouTube using a laptop or a desktop. This is super easy to do. So on your laptop, you're going to open up Chrome or whatever browser you use, and you're going to sign into YouTube. And then on the top right corner, you see your icon here, you're going to click on it, and then you're going to open up the YouTube Studio. So once the YouTube studio launches, you can go through all the other tabs, but we're going to go and click on content to see all of the videos that you have uploaded and scheduled to be uploaded in order of when they're going to be uploaded onto YouTube. So on the top right corner here, you see the button that says create. You're going to click on that and you see the options, upload videos, go live, create, post and more. We're going to click on upload videos and then the circle in the middle. I'm going to click on that. So you can click and drag and do other things, but it's easier just to click on that. And then I'm going to open up where my videos are saved. Now for this, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm not actually going to upload it, but I'm going to click on this video here. And normally you would hit open and it start opening and uploading on YouTube. But if you hold control, you can select multiple videos and upload multiple videos all at once on YouTube and then just change the titles and everything one by one. Super easy to upload multiple videos at a time. But once you do that, it's going to launch into this screen here. I'm not actually going to upload this video, so I'm going to actually hit the X. And I'm going to switch to a different tab of the videos that I have ready to upload. And I'm going to, to just basically edit the drafts. So switch it over here. You see, these are the videos. I usually upload a month worth of videos at a time. It makes it easier for me and saves me time. But for this one here, I'm going to click on edit draft for the Ottawa Comic Con pickups. And now whenever we're on this screen, first thing I do is I select my thumbnails that I created. So you're going to select the thumbnail for this specific video. But as you can see here, here's all of the thumbnails that I have created for future videos on the channel. So you're going to select that. It's going to put it onto your video. Now you're going to change the title and the description for your video, and you're going to make it something more catchy or something that is for your video, as you can see here. And then you're going to scroll down. Now, if you have playlists on your channel, you're going to add that video to the playlist. If you wish this one here, I couldn't remember which one I was uh, wanting to put it in. So I think I put it under unboxing, but I might change that in the future. So you're going to select your playlist. And then you're going to scroll down and I do have TubeBuddy on my YouTube. So normally uh, there, once you get to the tabs option, it does have automated tabs and you can just select a whole bunch of them. This one here, it's not working at the time. So I'll do that in the future. And then you can go under category and you can change it to something that's specific for your video. For this video here, I'm going to leave it under education or sorry, entertainment. But you can change it to different things. Next, if you have ads on your channel and you are approved for monetization, you're going to turn it on. I select the skippable and non-skippable ads. Ad, suitab ad suitability is very important. For example, inappropriate language. If you do have uh, do swear in your videos, do put it in uh, the different categories. But there is... Adult content, violence, and a whole bunch of options. It's important to select and be honest because they are going to do a, re a review of your video anyways. So if you're dishonest, it's going to hurt your channel. So for this video here, I have none of that. So you're going to hit none of the above and you're going to select on the uh, ratings. It's going to save the rating and you're going to hit next. I hit next again. You're going to look for the check marks here and hit next. And then here you could upload the video. You could do different options. I always schedule my video to come out at a later date because I do a month at a time. It does save me a lot of time actually. So I'm going to select the day, the time that this video is going to be uploaded. I know I'm probably uploading this specific video later, but for uploading this comic con video, that's the date and time. And once you're okay with everything and you checked everything over, you're going to click on schedule or upload if you're uploading it for right now. And as you can see, it's going to come up here saying video scheduled. It's going to tell you the time and the date. Now, once you have that process done, you can go and do the rest of yours. But I always go and check. Now, up here, if you did select the wrong day and time, you can just click on schedule and you can change that easily. And nothing to worry about if you accidentally select the wrong day or time. And then you can also go in and edit everything that you just put in. So the title, the description, the thumbnail, the playlist, Everything that you just went and edit, if you did something wrong or you weren't sure at the time you were uploading it, you can go and change it at a later date and just hit save. Now, this is how you upload videos using a desktop or a laptop, which is what I like to do. And to me, it's the easiest way. If you guys want, comment down below and I'll 
show you guys how to do it for on your phone, but I find it's easier just putting everything on your laptop and it makes it really smooth and crisp and it's actually an easier process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.